spinners, tables, some lighter spinners, medium spinners, the 20 pound conventionals. We've got the mutton rods. So I think that we're ready to go here, okay? What we're gonna be doing is something really, really interesting. We're gonna be sandballing snapper. Yeah, I mean, this is something that is really unique. A lot of different ways to catch these snappers, not only in the Florida Keys, but all over the state of Florida, but perhaps sandballing and oat balling could be the sneakiest and the stealthiest. And I say snapper because, of course, the goal is to target these big flag yellowtails, right? Not those 12, 14 inch fish on the patch reefs, right. but the big full grown flags. Mama However, jamas. yeah, the mama jamas. However, mangrove snappers, mutton snappers, a possibility as Groupers. well. Groupers, a possibility, but we're really looking for those snappers. And what that sandballing does is it really creates like a sneak attack, you know? Generally, when you're chumming, you're chumming horizontally. You've got a mesh bag in and that chum is flowing with the current. But what we wanna do is drop these sand balls that we're gonna create from sand and chum. We're gonna also make some from oat, oat balls, oatmeal, and mixed with chum. And we're gonna drop them right to the bottom. We're gonna be fishing anywhere from 70 to 120 feet. Some deeper stuff. We're not looking for those patch reefs.